one of the old CFL lamps in my workshop, a 42 watt that was installed in 2002 is starting to blink on and off. Hasn't gone out completely. I'm gonna take this one apart and see if I can figure out why it's flashing. So what I have here is I have a commercial electric 42 watt compact fluorescent bulb. And what makes this one unique is the age of it. This lamp was installed in service in 2002. And it recently started going on and off. But it still lights, it just flashes, goes on and kicks out. So I figured before I chuck it, because this is one of my, my workshop lights, I'd just uh, pop it apart and see why it's going on and off. Is it just a bad connection? Or do we have a bad ballast? But uh, I think this will be interesting. I've had another one that's, was, that went out and I fixed it and it's still going strong. This thing over to the left of me here, off the left of the side of the camera. This is one of the ones that's behind me to light up my bench. So I figured I'd pop this one apart and see if I can fix this one. And you guys might like to see what shape a lamp that's this lamp is what 16 years old something like that got lots of hours on it you know thousands upon thousands of hours on this lamp now the first thing off the bat you notice that the the, the actual plastic here has become brittle this is from the ultraviolet rays I mean this is the whole top is, is just about shot on this lamp so I'm probably gonna have to break it apart and see if I can uh, get into the inverter on this thing without breaking the actual lamp itself which shouldn't be too hard considering the fact that the plastic itself is to the point where I can break it with my fingernail this is really um, this plastic has become very very brittle as you can see and this will all just be from the actual <clears throat> the heat from the lamp and the ultraviolet rays as you can see it's actually discolored the plastic so I have a feeling that this is where the problem on this is going to be is it's going to be right in here if I can get this base apart I might be able to fix this one I bet yeah it's just going to be uh, solder connections have gone bad either where the lamp is connected to the inverter or on the inverter itself so I'm just going to pop the top off this thing if I can without breaking it. There it goes. This has got a double base as you can see. It's got another base below here that uh, actually holds the lamp. Okay, that's got that open now. Now we can look at the uh, the inverter gonna get the remainder of this uh, broken plastic around the lamp off oh look at this I see solar connection problems surprise surprise this is where the, the problem with this lamp is gonna be is it's just from all these years of use we have solder connections that have failed I think I can fix that <clears throat> then I'm gonna to have to figure out a way to put the lamp back together I know it's hardly worth this but this is a 42 watt lamp so this isn't a two dollar one this is a little more expensive than that I think these ones were around 20 bucks a piece or so at the time I bought them they don't owe me anything at this point but this is all just in the name of science
that one. So just loaded with that. Uh, here's another one over here that looks like it's bad. This is loaded with the uh, Colts Alder. Although it's, you know, they've worked fine for all these years, so it just probably just crystallized over over the years of, you know, heating and cooling and heating and cooling and just eventually the solder got a bit dry and because these these have been out of our workshop so I mean in the winter they'll freeze they get hot when they're on and uh, get really cold another one down here probably what I'll end up doing is I'll just end up putting a um, get some silicone cement and cement it around here and uh, tie it up with a zap tie so when it's all said and done this is what I've come up with yeah I know it's hokey but you know what it'll hold the light I can put it over my bench again let's see if it lights well there it is in the wall of light over my bench back in service as you can see the uh, the CFLs actually give off a fair bit more light than the uh, the good old 40 watt uh, twin tube uh, um, fixture that's been up there for years. So we'll see how long this lasts. As I say, this lamp is, was installed in 2002 and it's still going strong. And I just want to see how long it's going to go before it actually completely fails. Because this one, along with a bunch of others, have really lived up. Some have failed. Some of these CFLs died within a few, you know, within a year or two. But other ones have lasted for eons like they were designed to. Thanks for watching.